Germany that you were discharged for assaulting a superior officer. Yes, sir, but I can explain. It wasn't a dishonorable discharge, so I'm guessing there's some level of provocation. Still, simply I'm showing your record just the same. What'd you do after you got out? I uh, worked private security. I see that on the application, but I don't see any names or references. They were private clients, uh, high profile, rich. I signed non disclosure agreements. The general? Yes, sir. Corporate heads, politicians, Silicon Valley guys. What about your last employer? Parenthos Coffee? It's not included on the application. Why is that? You're not considered that employer legitimate? Technically, yes. In reality, no. Auntie, I didn't know you were here. Obviously. Where were you? I was in the kitchen. Dropping off a coconut cake for Trina. It's a favorite. Right, right. Now that you know about me, what about you? Uh, well, you know, I have taken a few steps lately, so oh. yeah, I, have, I know I need a lot more practice. This is great. Why on earth are you keeping this from your family? Especially your wife. Even if your aim 
It's true. He can destroy a marriage. Jason didn't say anything to me, but the Quartermain Estate is a perfect place to hide. And you live at the gatehouse. Yeah. Willow and I were helping him. Willow? Yeah, look, I, I know, I know, I, I blindsided Willow when I told her that Jason was shot and needed her help. And, you know, she stepped right up. I mean, she took care of his wound. She made sure that he had the right medication. But Willow's the reason why Jason had such a good recovery. Did Jason say anything about where he's been? What he's been doing? No, not really. He just, he told me that he was picked up by somebody who has leverage over him and they had him working as a mercenary soldier. Did he say anything to you? Well, after the arraignment, Jason went straight to see your father. I was there. And surprise, surprise, so was Ava. Yeah, Ava has been spending a lot of time with him these days. Yeah, and, and, and Sonny thinks that Ava is trustworthy, but you and I are not, which gives you a pretty good idea how things went with Jason. Which obviously now, Dad realizes that, that Jason didn't shoot Dante. He also knows that he was an informant for the FBI. An informant? That's what Jason couldn't tell me. And he didn't say much more than that, which infuriated your father. And Sonny called Jason a traitor. I tried to calm him down. I tried to fix things, but it didn't work. So Jason and I left. Did Jason say anything else? No, I mean, not, not really. We, we went to Bobby's and we sat around and talked. We didn't say anything about where he's been or about the FBI. And there's a vacant room above Bobby, so that's where Jason's going to stay. Okay, well, that's good. It's easier for him there than, than the Metro Quarter. Especially there. And mommy's he's been through something. I know. I know I can see it. But Jason's gonna be okay. I mean he is. He's got a lot of people pulling for him. Especially you, Mom. I know this has been an emotional ride. Are you are you okay? Partners can share. 
They can lean on each other and go through the tough times together. Both you and Portia are strong enough to handle anything. And your, your desire to protect is admirable. But you gotta ask yourself if you knew Portia. Wouldn't you want to know? Sorry. 
I didn't want to bring it up, but Drew told me that you guys broke up. Oh. I mean, I didn't know that Drew was going to say something to you. Not that it's a secret or anything. It's not. I just, I just, I just didn't know how it would feel when people found out. How is he? You know, Drew. He puts on a game face, but I know he was hurt. I love him. I do, and I miss him. And he went through so much with me and for me. And I really wanted to return that kind of loyalty. But I didn't know Jason was gonna come back. Look, Drew is a good friend. Yeah, literally, my lifesaver. I hope he can put his own life back together and find something that matters to him. That is your problem, Nina. When things don't go your way, you actually, you focus on the wrong thing. Right now, my problem is that I have a sanctimonious boss who barged into my office and now wants to lecture me about my shortcomings. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to include victimhood complex in there. My bad, I'm sorry, I know nothing's ever your fault, right? That's how you justify your actions. When you lose something, you just go try and take something from somebody else in return. Think about it for a second. You lost Mel. You lied to Carly. Made her think that she lost Sonny. You lost Willow. You tried to send Carly to prison. You're still defending Carly? How pathetic, Drew. The best decision you ever made was to fire Carly and reinstate me. Why are you backtracking now? I'm not backtracking now, Nina. I'm not rewriting history. I've got a very clear mind on what happened, and I have a very good memory. But that's in the past. And we're trying to move forward here, right? Haven't you ever heard, living well is the best revenge? Stella, the wonderful surprise. You stayed for dinner, right? No, no, I just came by to leave Trina a coconut cake. Uh, I left it in the kitchen. Yeah, it smells like heaven. 
the piece on how the wellness business market is booming and evolving is in your inbox. Thank you, Madison. Thank you. I'll look at it right away. I need to go back to work. So we're heard. Let's see. Uh... This is pretty strong. It's just for the next issue. It's it's about feeling good. It's a powerful, profitable industry. You know, fitness and well-being. They're not just trendy buzzwords. Do me a favor. Will you forward that to me? I'd like to read that. Forwarding it right now. Yeah. 
xuống những thuật ngữ đó trong khi đi khám thai thì có thuật ngữ sẽ ra cách đó làm cho mẹ bầu cảm thấy bối rối điều đó có nghĩa là gì điều đó có nghĩa là em bé đang có vấn đề hay sao cũng có không ít mẹ bầu vì giải đáp hết tất cả những thắc mắc của mình mà trong thời gian uh, khám thai hẹn hẹp nên ở trong quá trình hiểu Thank you.